Now at 11. So there's a shooting, there's a shooting. The massacre in Las Vegas. The shots just kept coming. A country music festival turning from party <laughs> to pandemonium. As we get to the bathroom, there's a girl who was just shot in the head. Tonight, the victims, the survivors, and the shooter's Florida connection after the mass shooting in Las Vegas. And tonight, the mood in Las Vegas, nothing like the festive one the city is so used to. Hundreds attending a vigil at City Hall, lighting 59 candles to remember each of the 59 people who have died. More than 500 others have been injured. Many of them are minor, but some of them are life-threatening. And nearly 24 hours since those first gunshots, more stories are emerging about the innocent victims. There's John Fippen, a father of four from Southern California. Friends say he loved to sing and was always smiling. Smiling. There's Rhonda LaRock from Massachusetts who was celebrating her anniversary with her husband and their daughter. Also, Sandra Casey, who was attending the festival with a group of fellow teachers. And Nasa Tonks, a Utah native who moved to Las Vegas 10 years ago and was raising three boys.